Hey guys, it's Half. I am back again. I am filming outside today. A few people have asked me to. It is going to be lots of bird noise. Um, it's early-ish in the day. It's The sun is like literally like right there. Hence why I'm wearing sunglasses because it's super deep bright. Um, if you can hear the sound of a lot of panting, that would be the dog running around because she's super excited because somebody's sitting outside. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I am going to be doing a tag video today. This is the Makeup Mess tag. Um, I've seen it on Lauren May Beauty um, and a few other people and apparently the person who started it is Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. I don't actually, I haven't actually seen her video. Um, <laughs> But a lot of other people I know have done this tag and have been like, yes, you should do this tag. So I'm like, okay, I will do this tag. And I've heard people say, hey, you should film outside. So I'm filming outside. Normally I film on the other side of like this window thing here. That's, that's where I usually am. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I am going to get into this. There are 15 questions. The first question is, how often do you wash your makeup brushes and sponges? Uh, quite honestly, not often enough. Even though I know that I should wash them more often, and you know, I've been through beauty training and everything, and they're very up on that. I'm just lazy, basically. I keep telling myself to do it, and then I don't do it. It's probably the reason I have so many brushes, is because I don't wash them often enough. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, how do you organize your makeup collection? Well, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to film how my makeup collection is actually situated and stored and insert it in here so that you can see without me having to try and explain it. Okay guys, so makeup storage. Um, up here, all of this stuff is basically stuff that is in projects um, and also in this drawer here. Um, so this is all the stuff that I'm currently trying to work through. So it has, um, and my pan that palette, palette is right there. Um, so they're close at hand. Uh, this sort of, this messy area here is where my computer is and it's generally where I put on makeup. Um, this drawer is the skin is in stuff um, that has been used up. So that's where I'm keeping that stuff. All the rest of my makeup is kept down in these drawers here. There's a little tiny bit in this drawer here. Um, it's stuff like pigments and depotted lipsticks are in that drawer there. Um, each drawer is labelled with its contents. So the... Oh, the light's not so great here. Um, the top drawer has primers, colour correctors, my brows, concealer, lip balm, lip liners and face powders. These are actually pretty, these are pretty uh, deep drawers um, and I have like these little baskety things in there that I put everything into. This drawer has mascara, foundations, BB creams, that sort of thing in there. Um, this one has single shadows, small palettes, pigments, uh, cream shadows, and eyeliners. So most of those are in like trays in the drawer. Then we have blush, highlighter, bronzer, contour all in this drawer. Um, and this drawer is stuffed full. The drawer is terrible. Um, and we have palettes in this one. So this is generally the bigger size palettes and my Z palette and that kind of thing. And this drawer is the lipstick drawer. So it has lipstick, lip gloss, uh, lip crayons, liquid lipsticks. And it is chockers. Chockers. Choc <laughs> uh, and these bottom two drawers here are back stock samples, um, masks, skincare that sort of thing is what's kept in these drawers here. So that is my makeup storage at the moment. Question three. 
Do you put your makeup products away after you're done using them or leave them out for tomorrow? I put them away or I put them back where they're currently situated. Um, I just, I have so much stuff that if I don't, everything is just a huge mess. And I don't really have anywhere I can leave them out. Like I'm, I don't have like a beauty room or anything and my area is quite open to other people. And there are some people in my family who have a really nasty habit of touching everything or fiddling. So I try not to leave things out too much. Question four. Loose or pressed powders? I actually don't mind. Um, depends on what it is, obviously. Uh, if it's blushes, I would rather they be pressed and not loose. Eyeshadow, I don't really care either way. They can be both. Uh, face powders, don't really care, though I do tend to... Excuse me. I do tend to go more towards um, loose powders for face powders. But, anyway. uh, number five, do you ever fall asleep without taking your makeup off? I have. I have been guilty of that. Or, you know, like you take a nap and you still get your makeup on. Um, I try not to. I'm getting a lot better about that. It's kind of like take your bloody makeup off. Um, it helps I don't wear makeup every day. But, uh, yeah. I have been known to do it, but I've been a lot more careful recently. Uh, number six, what makeup rules do you like to break? Um, as many of them as I possibly can. You know, things like blue and green together never should be seen, or like you shouldn't wear blue eyeshadow. I'll do that. Um, that if you have a, like a really full-on lip, you should have a simple eye, or if you have a really full-on eye, you should have a nude lip. If I want to wear a smoky eye and a bright red lip or a dark red lip, then I will do that. I, it's, I, I, makeup rules are meant to be broken. Uh, the one that I used to break when I was at uh, uh, doing my beauty training is they told us a lot that you're supposed to um, you know, stick to the undertone that a person actually is. And... Um, I was a bit of a tricky subject because I have quite pink undertones, but I often will have um, a more warm tone in my hair. Like at the time that I was doing school, I actually had a quite warm tone in my hair, which actually throws things off quite a bit, although the warm toned hair actually suits me. Um, it throws it off when you're doing makeup if you're trying to stick to a particular undertone. So I, I will do that all the time. I will combine warm and cool tones in a way that is not necessarily recommended and can sometimes look a little bit clashy and glaring, but I don't really mind that. So, uh, number seven, will you use a product even if it's cracked or broken? Uh, generally speaking, yes. Like Particularly if it's a powder. If it breaks, then I just like repress it. Um, if it's making a mess, then I will repress it. If it's not making a mess, then I'll just keep on using it. Uh, it depends on how cracked or broken it is or what it is. You know, like if something breaks off and falls on the ground, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to get rid of that because uh, that's just gross. Um, but, yeah. um, number eight. Do you wait to pan a product completely before you replace it? Um... These days, yes, <laughs> uh, because I have so much stuff and I'm panning stuff regularly. Uh, it does depend on what it is, though. If it's a product that I really, really like, I will. Um, I won't replace it like straight away. I'll wait until I've used most of the product before I replace it. Um, like when I got my um, Maybelline Fit Me, like I. I bought a backup of my Maybelline Fit Me. My main reason for doing so is it's really hard to get the colour that I need locally in store, uh, particularly during a sale. And a couple of times a year, um, there's a 40% off sale at Priceline, which is where I usually buy these things from. Um, and if they had a product that I absolutely loved and they had a 40% off, I would buy it then even if I hadn't finished another product, which it might not be so good for um, use-by dates um, for cream products and stuff. But yeah, it does depend on the product and how expensive it is too. Because, you know, if you see it on sale, you tend to buy it, whether you really need it or not. But I'm trying not to buy makeup in general. So. Uh, number nine, how do you feel about sharing makeup? Um, I really don't like to share makeup, 
Uh, when I was doing my beauty training, we used our own makeup on other people. So like you use your kit on other people. Um, but there's a lot of sanitization that goes into that. Um, I do give makeup products to my daughter occasionally if I like don't really, really like them or whatever. Uh, yeah, so I will give stuff to my daughter if um, I don't like it. Um, obviously I sanitize it before I give it to her. So she's got a lot of my older type makeup, but um, I, I probably wouldn't share with my friends or anything so much, unless I'm doing their makeup for them. I, I wouldn't give makeup to other people and say, uh, I wouldn't like give my friend a lipstick and say, here, use my lipstick and then give it back to me in, you know, a week or something. But, yeah. No. Uh, number 10, how do you feel about buying or trading used makeup? If it's lightly used, I don't have a problem with it. I've bought makeup from friends of mine that has been lightly used. Um, one of them, not so much lightly used, it was a Lorac Pro palette, she did pan in a couple of shades, but a lot of the other shades she hadn't used at all, and as long as it's probably sanitised, um, powder products I don't have such a problem with. Um, cream products is a little bit different, um, there's more chance of bacterial growth and stuff and they're harder to sanitise, so it depends on what kind of product they are. Like, I don't think I would buy used mascara or something like that. Um, used lipsticks are not such a problem because you can sanitise them, but like liquid lips and lip glosses are a different matter because they're almost impossible to sanitise. Um, yeah, so it depends on the product, but I don't have a problem with it. Uh, number 11, how often do you do declutter makeup? The only time I declutter makeup is if I have products that... I know don't work for me. So like if I've used um, a product um, and I know the formula doesn't work for me and I know I've got another one in my collection that is the same formula, um, I will probably declutter it as well knowing that it's not going to work for me. Um, and I generally only get rid of stuff if it's, I really, really don't like it. It doesn't work for me. Um, the It's changed the way that it works or it's changed the way that it smells and then I get rid of stuff. I don't go through my collection like every year and throw stuff out. I mean I can barely do that in my wardrobe let alone in my makeup. Uh, number 12, do you use your fingers to apply makeup? Sure. There are plenty of makeup items that apply better with fingers than they do with anything else. Um, but generally speaking if I'm going to use my fingers to apply makeup, I use a like a spatula thing to put it on the back of my hand and then I go from my hand. Um, if it's a product that can't be easily sanitised. So, like, eyeshadows can be easily sanitised, so it doesn't matter if you stick your fingers in them. But if it's like a cream product, um, I do try to avoid sticking my fingers in cream products on the whole, depending on what they are. Like my lip balm, I tend to stick my finger in it. Um, but other types of products... Not so much. Uh, number 13, what products, if any, do you hoard in your purse, back, bag, backpack, etc.? I, I, I don't. I have like a little makeup kit that's in my handbag, which I, I rarely ever look at and rarely ever use any of the products in it. And probably I could throw them all out and I would not miss them at all. I generally, because I don't go out a lot, I don't really need to put makeup in my handbag. And when I do go out, I usually just stick whichever lip product I'm using in my handbag and then take it out when I get home. So, yeah. uh, number 14, what is your least favourite step in your makeup routine? Taking the bloody stuff off again. And starting. I'm right once I start. It's making myself start. Um, but yeah, taking it off is such a pain sometimes, especially eye makeup and not like making your eyes like feel weird and stuff. Yeah, so probably that step. And uh, number 15, what is your worst makeup memory? Um, I don't think I've really got any worst makeup memories. I've, I've never felt terrible about, my dog's licking me, I've never felt terrible about makeup in that kind of way, um, I think probably having, I had 
have this one eyeshadow when I was a teenager, which um, I got from my mum, and I used it all the time. And I used it all up. And I can remember feeling really sad because I'd used all of this eyeshadow up and and, and couldn't replace it. Um, and yeah, it's probably like the worst thing I remember. Now when I finish makeup, it's like a great thing. But back then it was terrible because I couldn't replace it. And I didn't really have any money or anything. And my mum's not into makeup, so... So, uh, yeah, that would be the makeup mess tag. Uh, most of the people I know have already done this. So if you haven't and you want to do it, that's, that's fine. I'll leave the questions down below. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below. Leave me a thumbs up. If you like tag type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, yeah.